Let's start with talking about some of the different terms for programs that you'll hear people use. First of all, a program itself is just a generic term for a complete set of instructions that does something. So on the left here, I have my favorite pizza recipe, which has been honed to perfection after decades of use. And as you can see, it's just a series of instructions telling you what to do when you want to build the pizza. On the right is a Python script. It looks more complicated, but again, it's simply a series of commands or of instructions that tell how to do something for the computer. It's made up of what we call code. So the individual instructions as a group are called code. In the pizza example, it would be things like cover with tomato sauce or bake at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. In the Python, there would be other things like uh, opening a file object or printing the word done. Another term that you hear frequently is application or app for short. An app is really a series of several programs that are working together under the hood. Um, and so as an end user, you usually just see the one application. We are familiar with apps on our phone, things like Instagram, or apps on our desktop computers, like Microsoft Office products like Word and Excel. So those are examples of apps that we're familiar with. A script differs a little bit from an app in the sense that a script can't just be run on its own like an application can. You actually have to run a script inside something else. So the instructions that you're writing have to be interpreted. Here's two examples. On the left is a Python script, and it's running inside a Jupyter notebook that is interpreting it. On the right is an R script, and it's running inside of RStudio, which is the uh, tool that helps uh, its code to be interpreted.